Hey guys, Parker here. Welcome to the channel, Game Siders. Got a lot of awesome Pokemon content for you today, including a look at the Crown Zenith Pikachu box and a look at my Detective Pikachu Pokemon card collection and just my Pikachu card collection. So let's get started. We've got just a true never ending onslaught of Pokemon cards and today is a no exception. We've got this very pretty box. I wanted to take a look at it and document it a little bit before I tear it open and throw it away forever. This is the Crown Zenith Pikachu VMAX special collection box. And just, I mean, look at how, look at how stunning. It's just a really, really pretty box. See. Got the spine right here, got the one side. Oh, so good. Got the bottom of the box. And of course, here's a look at the back. But my goodness, is this just not one of the prettiest boxes you've ever seen because Honestly, it's one of the prettiest boxes I've ever seen. It's just a really, really good package. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, the great reveal. The only reason I bought this is because I wanted to add to my Pikachu collection. Here's the empty box. This could be a, a really good, like, shadow box or a frame. Maybe I should hang on to this and make something out of it. Hmm. I'll set it aside for now. All right, and of course, the number one reason why you should buy this package is the Pikachu cards. And uh, there's a there's a code for you code people if you want that. So first and foremost, of course, oh, I should be wearing um, a Pikachu shirt, not my Drift shirt. What was I thinking? I don't know. I wasn't. Taking a peek at Chew Pikachu. Oh, that doesn't work. That's okay, though. <laughs> Very fun. I, I'm by no means a completionist. I don't have every single Pikachu card ever, though. That would be very cool. What I should do is get every single Mudkip card ever. That would be fun. And then, of course, we got the, the Pikachu VMAX card to match it and this lovely little texture. I don't want to dirty it up too much. Gotta, gotta get a grade 10 and sell this for a thousand dollars in, in, in 10 years or whatever. Is that is that a thing that people do? And together, ah. Then of course we got the oversized card, which hopefully this is the right size that'll fit in my already existing deck. You can see here. There, optical illusion. Now they're the same size, except for, no they're not. <laughs> ah, such such detail. Of course, this comes with five packs of the Crown Zenith card collection, which is the final collection of the Sword and Shield saga. Can we saga. skip to the good part? Toxitricity is one of my favorite new ones, and I love this full art that features freaking a, a band. <laughs> we got the, the bass, got the guitarist, we got the drums, and then Obstagoon on vocals, I guess. Is that is that what this is? <laughs> What a great card, honestly. Terrific. We also got the full art Zacian V. Very nice. And then I know people don't people usually go for the Pokemon cards, not so much the trainer cards, but I love these so much. First of all, Cynthia is the most badass Pokemon trainer ever to, to walk the Poke Earth. I, I, I guess, uh, except for Ash, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. You can make the debate for that. Then, of course, Friends in Hisui. I really like this card a lot. Instant spot in my permanent collection. Oh, and my light just went out. Shucks. <laughs> and then we got two of these enamorous. Uh, I'm not too enamored by it. Ha ha ha, forgive the pun. Uh, but it is a new Pokemon and I don't have this card yet. So now I've got two of them. Honestly though, my favorite have to be Toxitricity and Friends in Hisui. These are my favorite for this poll. And I think these are the only cards I'm gonna get for Crown Zenith, I think. Actually, that's not true. I've got a, 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 and actually that's not true. I've got a Galarian bird tin on the way, but I don't know which one yet because it's random. But yeah, these are my favorite pulls for sure. And then of course, look at that. Look at that Pikachu. This might be a good time to update my Pikachu collection. Should we do that? Okie dokie 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 doke. All right, I guess we'll start with the big boys. In this case, the uh, 
massive oversized card. Of course, we've got this classic 1995 six and eight Pikachu. Mm. But the original fat Pikachu. And actually that's what a lot of people like VMAX so much is that uh, the fat Pikachu is back and fat Pikachu is so endearing. I mean, look at him. Now this is actually more than just Pikachu. We've got all the starters, all the oversized starters, which I'm just thrilled with. And this is basically the very first card that this Pokemon um, was drawn, but now it's oversized. This was for the 25th anniversary. You can see the, the seal there. And of course my favorite, Mudkip. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at that beautiful boy. It's interesting what they did with the fourth gen. They have like, it's like the real pictures on the background, but they're intentionally like pixelated and like painted out to make it look abstract. And then fifth gen is all this like whooshing energy stuff. Sixth gen, we get into the 3D models. Not for the first time, but it's interesting to see how they evolve throughout the decades. And back to more classic artwork. Now, unfortunately, there is no such thing as an oversized Aldea starters. One day we'll get those oversized cards and, and I know I've got a place for them right here. For the rest of the Pikachu bits, obviously we've got this Pikachu and Zekrom tag team, but this is a really weird move. For whatever reason, as you can see, it's actually, it's bigger than these official sleeves. See how it, it's like, it's bigger. So like, I don't know what to do with this card. I don't have a place for it. So I just gotta be really careful for now. Of course, we've got Pikachu and Zekrom, oversized card. We've got a different Pikachu V oversized card. Pika! <laughs> and then on the back here, probably like my favorite oversized card, Pikachu V Union, because it has all the Pikachus. Look at that. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Beautiful. So yeah, and I mean, and look at, I really like this card though, cause like, look at these textures. It just feels good to like touch. It's just got a great texture. And now my Pikachu collection, which actually comes from the Detective Pikachu set is, is when I decided to start like putting them all in the same place. So why don't we take a look at these Detective Pikachu cards? I've got them all. First of all, gotta love the little symbol right there. Isn't that great? <laughs> ah, love it. Yeah, and including Charizard GX, Greninja GX and Mewtwo GX. Now I had oversized cards of all three of these, but that was before I decided that like, eh, I may as well just keep them. And so I ended up selling them, unfortunately, but I made like, you know, 10, 15 bucks per card. So that's not bad, but I do, I do, I do kind of regret that four years later, five years later, six years later, when did Detective Pikachu come out? And there's a couple variations of Detective Pikachu. We got this one, 10 out of 18. And we got a few more later on. Look at that menacing Mewtwo, whoo! And the Ditto just looks so good. Wow. And then here's two other versions. This is the, the card that we got when uh, we went to go see it in theaters. And I think uh, a, a Detective Pikachu card came with the Blu-ray if you bought the Blu-ray. And then uh, of course we got this one as well. These are just promotional, Sun Moon promotional. All right, now classic Pikachu. Look at that, look at that. It's not a first edition. Oh, I guess this one is the first one. This is the jungle set right there. But there you have it. This is the original Pikachu. <laughs> and this is like the, was it the 20th anniversary reprint? Like look how it's shiny and stuff. Oh, I love that. Got a WB. This is a promotion from when my dad took me to see the first movie. We got this promotional Pikachu card. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank you, dad. I returned the favor, so I took him to go see Detective Pikachu, where I ended up getting this card. How funny is that? Rest in peace, Dad. You were great. So you can definitely tell, like, Pikachu keeps getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer and slimmer as, as the time goes on. Ah, uh, and then here's the, the, the separated version of that Pikachu V Union in normal-sized cards. <laughs> Got a couple more 25th anniversary editions. Oh, and look at that, a 10th Pokemon anniversary Pikachu. I'm telling you, I mean, I've been collecting for a while, so I've got a lot of them. Oh yeah, another 25th anniversary reprint of Birthday Pikachu, it's a good one. And then a full art of Fat Pikachu for the 25th anniversary as well as Surfing and Flying Pikachu, crazy. Absolute madness. And of course got the 
series of Pokemon Go from last summer, a year ago. Ah, the smaller version of that. That's interesting. So that's actually a, a pretty fat Pikachu. And then look at this guy too. Oh, oh, I forgot I had this rare, ultra rare gold Pikachu VMAX. Look at that chunky thick boy. He's so fat. And of course the smaller version of the tag team. Got the Halloween booster pack. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, I've got some Raichus thrown in the mix. So these are from the same set, so I wanted to keep them together, as are these two from the same set. Very cool. And then, uh, oh, got another tag team, Alolan Raichu and regular Raichu. And then look at that. Beautiful. This is a reprint, but then this is an original fossil. Not in great condition. You can see these black flecks on the screen. Eight, nine, ten. I've got ten slots left, so that's a little... A little scary. Y'all need to calm down on the Pikachus, okay? Stop making so many of them. Everyone knows who Pikachu is. Well, there you have it. A comprehensive look at the Crown Zenith Pikachu Special Edition, as well as my entire oversized card collection, as well as my Detective Pikachu collection, as well as my entire Pikachu collection. I hope you guys liked it. Do you guys have a favorite?